UK health research ecosystem has decades of history of, uh, of excellence. New treatments for cancer and autoimmune disease, new diagnostics. The work that was done on developing the vaccines for COVID and obviously the antivirals. We don't take the actions recommended in, in the report. It's our health and our health of our families that will suffer. There are real anxieties about the sustainability of the current ecosystem. So yes, there's lots of excellence and yes, there's much to be proud of, but actually we worry about how long that can continue. Well, we're certainly not saying the system is broken, but what we are saying is we can see fault lines. And the many people we spoke to during the study um, we, we managed to get the, the fault lines into four different categories. And these came up time and time again. And the first one was that we must place people at the heart of the UK health research system. And the system absolutely depends on the people that, that work in it and feed into it. Are people happy to have careers in um, health research? Can all different types of people, whatever their skills, whatever their backgrounds succeed? Um, are we really involving patients and carers in health research? Secondly, we must ensure that people can move between our different sectors. We are incredibly fortunate to have people working in universities, in the NHS, in um, charities and in industry. But there are artificial barriers for people going between the two. We must ensure that the full costs of research are covered at present, no research funder in the UK covers the full costs of research and we have to support research by cross-subsidy. And there's only really two sources of cross-subsidy in a university context. One is the recruitment of international students who pay higher tuition fees and the other one is other business activities. We must also maximise the potential of research in the NHS. And it is there, but many people do not have the opportunity or the time within their contracts to do research, which is so important.